In this video, we're going to take a look at Ptolemy's theorem. And Ptolemy's theorem is a very powerful use of cyclic quadrilaterals. And so we're going to draw ourselves a nice cyclic quadrilateral in here. Label the vertices A, B, C, and D. And then draw in our um, diagonals. Um, and we'll let those meet um, at point P. So that's not actually going to matter for us. And our theorem says that the sum of the product of the opposite sides, so AB times CD plus BC times AD, is equal to the sum of the product of the diagonals, so AC times CD. And we want to prove this is true. To prove it true, we're going to look at some very specific similar triangles. And we're going to create these similar triangles by adding a point K right here on one of the diagonals. And that point is going to be constructed by drawing in that line such that this angle is congruent to that angle. That's how we construct that point. And we do that because we also know that this angle is congruent to that angle, which is going to give us two angles congruent and two triangles. And so let's label those um, similar triangles. So B, C, K is going to be similar to, well, B, D, A in the same way. So triangle B, D, A is similar to B, C, K because of the angle-angle property similarity. The second one is a little harder to notice. I'm going to, instead of drawing extra lines, I'm going to draw a different color and so you can just know that one line in blue is going to be congruent to one line in blue. And so we can show that this angle right here, ADK, is similar to this angle right here, DBC, because they share this congruent angle that we constructed, and you add on this extra piece. So add um, those together, you get APK, BK equals um, DBC. And then for the Similarly to what we just did, we also know that this angle there is congruent to this angle down here. And so that allows us to have similar triangles. And our similar triangles are going to be B, A, K, and B, D, C. And then from here, we're just going to use, and we don't have to look at the picture anymore, we can just look at the similarity statements. We want to know things about the side length and the diagonals, and so I'm going to ignore any time that I might have to use a BK in the problem, um, because that doesn't have anything to do with either one of those. I want BDs and ADs and things like that. Now, I will need an AK and KC um, so that I can get um, AC at some point, and we'll see that in a second. And so we know that BC over BD from this over this is going to equal, well, I, I do want to see K, and DA is one of the side lengths, so we can use that. So that's true. And then from this one, we know that BA over BD is equal to, and we do want an AK, so AK over CD. Those similarity statements are easy to show by similar triangles. Multiply by cross multiplication, you get AD times BC equals BD times CK, and then. Um, BA times CD is equal to BD times AK. If we add these together, we get AD times BC plus AD or BA times CD. And that equals BD times CK plus BD times AK. This is what we wanted, right, from up here, AD times BC plus AD times CD. So we're not going to play with that anymore. In this one, we notice we got a BD in both of these. So we factor out our BD, and we're left with CK plus AK by factorization. That CK times AK is exactly equal to the other diagonal AC by segment addition. And so BD times AC equals this, which is AD times BC plus AB times CD, which is Ptolemy's theorem and is a very powerful and useful theorem um, when, whenever you find 
um, particular quadrilaterals in the problem.